Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery with a 16 by 20 inch canvas and a desire to cover it with paint. I have some Anita's White Metallic that I'm going to use as a base layer. And the way that this painting is going to progress is going to be somewhat similar to the background I used when I did a, uh, a, drag, a toothy drag tool that I made myself and I have not, I'm not going to do that today. <laughs> But uh, what I did was spatula the coppers and the golds and even some of the white metallic into place and then add a little purple and I absolutely loved my result. And then I went ahead and did the thing I said I was going to do anyway and I like it. But not as much as the spatula painting or very nearly but not quite. I mean at least I followed through, right? So I need a layer of paint that doesn't have to be white, which is why I use a lot of Anita's white metallic, because it's very sheer and kind of pearly, and I'm almost covered, and I'm surprised it took so much, but the canvas is obviously really, really thirsty. I don't know what that is, but do I have tweezers? I wish I had, there we go, I have some. Whatever it is, it'll it'll show up again. There it is. I see it. Let's put that aside. Try and get that filament out. This is some fire opal. I believe it's a treasures. From who's it from? <laughs> I think it's a folk art. This is a, an Egyptian coin. This is from, this is a prison pour. It's from Color Art. This is Golden Fluid Iridescent Fine. From Golden. Here's a copper that I'm pretty sure is Decor Americana Metallic. Here is my Decor Americana 24 karat gold. I'm going to throw a little bit more white in there. And here is some Decor Americana 24 karat gold with orange in it that is being hard to deal with today. I've cleaned this tap cap out twice. But I want that color in here. And there's a big plug. Good. I guess I didn't clean it out. I lied. <laughs> I thought I did. So let's just act as if we're covering this. And I'm going to give myself the pleasure of a little bit of dioxazine purple. I'm going to give myself the pleasure of a few purples and then maybe black. around the outside edge first, just like I did yesterday. Get that paint bottle and that torch out of my way. I hope I can come even close. Now what happened was I got a little frustrated with how nasty this looked at this stage, and that's when I added the black. I'm kind of hoping I might have the same kind of luck. Right after I get that paint lump that's sticking to my foot off. So there's my first stage. Now it's time to try and see what happens. With the purples. Yeah, I still like the combination. And I might be done in a second. I'm really surprised how light that copper looks. I 
think I'm going to give myself a little bit more right through the center. The spatula just takes takes it right down to canvas because the Anita's doesn't have any coverage. I think I want a little more black. Yep, I don't mind digging down a canvas. It's not really canvas, it's really Anita's. The question is, am I done? Or do I want to add a little more texture? Or the look of texture, anyway. Ooh, I got some cells. I like that stripe. Oh, I see something that looks like canvas. I'll be covering my edges with black. I'm liking all my stripes. I'm wondering if, if I want anything else, and I really don't. I'm happy with that. Well, except for that one spot. <laughs> like a heck of a storm. I can knock all my paint right off on my edge of my canvas and get a nice gray edge, which I might wind up doing. All right, I do sell my artwork and uh, you can inquire through my email address, which is right below show more or right underneath the link tree link a little something something I need to fix which is for me a fingerprint that just makes me want more <laughs> yes I'm holding a torch in one hand I'll show you my view. It's just, it's just dynamic. It's just exciting. I don't know. It reminds me of a storm on the rocks, I guess. I've got a few nice cells. It was fun to do. I have 2,200 videos and you can find them by going to my channel and looking for playlists and then going to all playlists and create a playlist or you can just ask me. I've got them organized by topic and genre by the hundred and topic and genre. There is a monthly drawing for those of you who would like to help keep me producing videos and you can find the prizes for the monthly drawing at the beginning of the exhibition video I share with you on the end screen of the video in this video. <laughs> that was a lot of videos. In any case, 
What else should I tell you? Please give me a thumbs up. You can make a donation through PayPal. The, bo the bottom right hand corner of my YouTube channel banner has an icon on it or the link is on the link tree. The link tree is under the video. The link tree also has Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, Facebook groups, my Amazon link where you can find my two books, Volumes 1 and 2, Because I Can and Unlimited Possibilities. And if you shop there, you help me out. I also have a brand new store at Society6, which has awesome stuff, totally worth looking at. And there's Legalers clothing made in Montreal, which is investment quality and all over print, le print leggings and t-shirts and more really cool stuff, kimono tops. There's spring clothing below the video, all over prints, less expensive and... Uh, there's other things there also. What else am I not telling you? Questions, please ask me if you want to. My community board will show you tomorrow's video. I post at 1 p.m. most days, Eastern Standard Time. Please thank, please and thank you. <laughs> thank you for your comments. You keep my morale boosted. Thank you for your donations. You keep me posting and, and creating art on YouTube. I love you guys. Thanks for inspiring me. I hope you come again. I post seven days a week. My paint pouring recipe is below the video. I'm gonna zoom in just because I can. This is, this is definitely abstract expressionism and uh, probably an acquired taste. And I really think next time I do something like that, I'll put some Venetian blue in, which is iridescent blue. But it doesn't need it now. It's plenty, plenty interesting for me, just the way it is. You guys take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. I love you much. Bye for now. Oh, I give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. And I do sell my artwork. And my email address, I may have mentioned, is underneath the link tree. It's E-A-S-P-B. And the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. If you need anything, just ask. I'll do my best. I'll talk to you guys anon. Bye for now. Priscilla out.